Right on. That was Dead Replicas with Reload, and it definitely was different. I mean, that's uh, vocally that's that's different from something uh, from anything I've ever ever heard Jay sing before with the unassisted. So that was really cool and a different tempo altogether. Like it's, I'm the, the 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 change is definitely noticeable for sure, but not in a bad way. Like I mean, I really dug it. I tell you what, wicked guitar work, and I think. They're becoming their own kind of monster. They're doing their thing, and I like that. I think, I mean, that particular track was based on, you know, whether you, you know, you're in, you're into drugs or religion or anything, and it's where it draws you in, and then you suddenly go, hang on, this is not what I want, and I suddenly realise who's me. This is what this track is about, but... To be honest with you, I mean, I love the fact that I hear instrumental stuff, the, the vocals are clear, it's it's great. It's a move forward, it's fantastic. I think it's great. No, I totally no, agree. Totally. So, so, next up is a, is a band called uh, Bad Llama, and... <laughs> Bit weird name, but the song is called "The Wolf You Feed." Dig this. I've been waiting for a long time now, so it seems. Trapped inside your head, that heavy breathing in your dreams. I've been waiting for this. Ghosts to sport you out of place Rocking you to sleep with tears All down your butt your face How am I to know right?
Llama, the wolf you feed. Now that is courtesy of Emma Scott and Plugin Baby. Just uh, give them props for sending the tunes. And that song really was really heavy. That really rocked hard, and they kind of towards the end kind of almost kind of put a mix of, like almost depth tones in there. But like a really cool song. Like I really enjoyed that. I just and it, it almost kind of sounded like kind of like mid and early 90s kind of was alternative but but metal at the same time like a really cool song yeah strong and strong guitar drums and you know drums in control and slurring vocals i like that um they're from burst on trent which is kind of up north uh, an area that i don't know very well but i know a few people from there and very listenable, rocking, car roof down, getting the riffs in, exciting. Right you know, Well, no, <laughs> you know, you can imagine it, can't you? Absolutely. Stick the cassette. Well, I'm talking about cassette. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> Give me the CD, stick it in the deck, and, you know, you actually, I could drive to that and go, oh, well, I feel great. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Right you well, love it when I just I try. No. To a bit, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So, so next up we have Murder Presence and uh the song's called Well, fuck that. <laughs> Dig this.
presence. Well, fuck that. <laughs> Uh, another good tune off this uh, EP, and, and just because it's so raw and and it's just like kind of going to the roots of like what punk really is, and I just like I really enjoyed it just for the raw sound alone. I love the fast paceness about this. It's so raw and so out there and so cool, and you don't get much of this kind of stuff. And so yeah, get out there and get on it. Right on. So, the last song for part one is going to be Ed Roman. This is off his new album, Red Omen. And like I said, I went to see him last night. It was a great show. This song is called I Wish the Wolfman Was Back. Dig this. Shit, and he been taking no flight. 